Hi there, it's James again, another video for you, um, straight away. So um, this is the morning after the storm. <laughs> um, it's a really nice, fresh, cool morning. And although we have a wind, it's nothing like the wind I had yesterday, which was uh, quite concerning, buffeting the boat all over the place. I don't know if you can see over there, there's some uh, Canada geese. Um, in the field opposite. They're beautiful, they get big flocks of them. There's there's loads of them and they all come around. There's a nice bridge up there, you can see it's really nice here. And there's a powerful uh, phone antenna. So I get um, a very, very powerful internet here. So um, it's really, really good for uploading and such. So um, yeah, the aftermath of the storm. You can see this, I, I put on top of the cratch cover to help secure it, it got pretty much blown off. This is solid oak, it's something I found in the... I was going to cut it up for firewood, it weighs an absolute ton and the cratch cover got all pulled off um, even though I'd roped it down and everything. A little trolley got knocked sideways. Um, the wood got... the solar panels got uh, a bit beaten but they're absolutely fine. Um, <laughs> some of my spare firewood got knocked off the sides. Um, you can see there's branches down. I don't know if you can see there are more branches down on the side of the on the side of the canal there. Some ducks and I've got a neighbour at the moment. Um, also the something that was a little more um, could have been a pain was this here. This is the, the case for my um, uh, there's the I'm not sure what you call it. It's where all the ignition key goes and things like that. That <laughs> that I found over in that field. So uh, anyway, it was all very eventful, um, but it was uh, it was exciting. It's an experience, and uh, and there's a lovely tree here. Look at him, oh, massive oak tree. Unfortunately, he doesn't have any dead branches underneath him because oak makes great firewood. Um, so I was also going to um, mention today that I have uh, acquired one of the most potent and useful things I've acquired since I got the boat and should have done a, should have done it a long time ago and that's new batteries um, that was one of the old batteries which you can see that's a, just a, a normal car battery um, however I had three batteries and I've replaced two of them which I'm not sure some of you will probably tell me that's not wise to replace just two of them but um, they're really expensive and the other one the one I've still got seems to be okay. Anyway, that's the shiny new battery. And there's two on the other side of the boat as well. Um, I managed to wire them all in without blowing anything up, which is good. Um, so that's 115 amp hours. Um, I don't know if you know how amp hours work, um, but that means if you had a, a laptop, say, that drew four amp hours, then that battery could keep it going for about 25 hours-ish, something like that. Um, which, uh, it's not that simple because you're not supposed to run the battery down below 50%, um, I believe. So it's not as, as simple as you might think. But nonetheless, I think my other batteries I had, when I had my laptop charging, um, and my battery went to a sort of battery setup went to a sort of unusable state after um, you know maybe two or three hours along with having the lights on and that sort of thing so it really did was becoming incredibly awkward now those batteries um, they were 120 pounds each but they were reduced in the sale to 100 pounds each um, and that's expensive, I know that's expensive, um, but I don't have a car or anything like that, so I have to take advantage of the shops which I can get to. And, and about a mile away from where I am at the moment, there is a Halfords, and that was what I was stuck with, and I think Halfords is probably a little bit expensive. But, you know, you take what you can get. You know, the amount of money I save not having a car more than makes up for having to pay a bit more now and again. Um, I brought the two batteries back, one at a time, on my trusty trolley there, and um, I, uh, oh, I've got to return the old ones because you're not allowed to drop the old ones off at normal um, canal rubbish sites, you have to take them to special amenity sites, um, which there is nothing anywhere near here, so 
I believe Halford to take back the dead batteries. Hopefully they will. I'll go and ask nicely. Um, it's been a few weeks. But anyway, um, keeping your batteries um, in good condition does seem to make a world of difference. And what's more, the boat starts first time every time now. So that's very exciting uh, for me, <laughs> which was always a bit of a gamble before. Um, and the other big thing, it makes a huge difference, is because now my uh, battery has a capacity of about 360 amp hours altogether which means that when it's sunny like it is today my solar panels can take in tons and tons and tons of power whereas normally um, with my old batteries they take in um, power on a sunny day for a couple of hours then everything was full because the batteries had no capacity so anyway uh, I'm rambling on about batteries, I'm not sure they're not that interesting, but they are um, super, super important, it would seem, to have good batteries. <laughs> Obviously, all of you who know about canal boats will say, well, of course it is, James, you daft muppet, but I'm discovering all this for myself, so I'm sure there's others of you who would like to know the same thing. Anyway, um, yeah, everyone's still here. So sorry about that. <laughs> Everything's still here. The cats are all safe. They just hid inside in the storm. Um, sorry, I remember to mute the uh, mute the messages. And everything's good. I'll remember to put my battery cover back. And um, yeah, I wish you all a happy day. Some nice views over here. It is a very classic uh, wintry English morning. So for those of you who don't live in England, this is kind of what our, uh, our wintry mornings are like, and it's lovely. Okay, thanks very much for your time. Um, give a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, um, and subscribe if you liked it, and um, I'm sorry about the huge break. Um, you know, people just are in different moods for different things at different times, so um, anyway, speak to you again soon.